What's up, social media people, Facebook, YouTube? Uh, been getting really into rocks lately, and um, uh, I live in the middle of the country and uh, had a lot of time on my hands to do a lot of walking around in the woods and uh, digging around in creeks and finding different rocks. And um, something occurred to me recently after uh, picking a bunch of them up and power washing them off and uh, getting real curious and trying to identify what all these different rocks were. Kind of looking for crystals too. Been kind of just interested in different crystals. Um, and I'm in mid Michigan, um, basically northern, north, northwestern Montcalm County. Um, and uh, so yeah, when I first uh, moved to where I live, I'll flip, I, uh, I had all these rocks that had been laying around and um, didn't have any kind of landscaping here uh, and decided to drive around and pick up all these different rocks and use them for you know, landscaping. This was like 10, 15 years ago, uh, 2006 or 2007 or quite, quite some time ago. Um, and now, like I said, it was a new, renewed interest in rocks. And uh, I decided to go ahead and dig all these rocks out that have been in my landscaping for years. Uh, just kind of see if I could identify some of them, particularly looking for um, erratic kimberlites. Um, kimberlites are the rock that diamonds are formed in. Um, also been curious looking for pudding stones and other uh, interesting things anything that has uh, crystals in it as you can see there's a big band of of crystal in this big rock and I don't know how long this has been here but this is an, an amazing amazing rock because I mean it's just got so many different colors in it um, there's there's crystal here uh, there's more crystal there I mean it just comes out all around here I mean the whole band of this rock is just nothing but crystal and get over on the other side of this and it's got this uh really green crystally stuff um so yeah I'm, i have not figured out at all what this is yet um but that's the purpose of this video is to kind of put out some feelers and see if i can get some folks that maybe uh, have a little bit more uh of an eye for for what they're looking at this piece of rock is very fascinating to me and i've always been fascinated by its shape um and like I said, I've been getting into crystals a little bit recently. And the more I look at this after I pulled it out of the dirt and power washed it off, the more I look at it, the more that I think that this is actually either one of two things. It's either an igneous rock that was formed inside the crust in some sort of like a lava vent. And this was the shape of the lava vent. And then a volcanic er eruption came and blew it out of the lava vent in this shape. Or... um. I'm thinking it may actually be a crystal because it's got these bands of crystal in it and there's clearly, um, you know, like a crystal root structure, only a massive one, which makes me wonder if I should um, get the grinder out and uh, grind off a layer or so of this exterior fascia and see if it's solid crystal inside. But the way that it's shaped, the more I look at it, the more I think that this is actually potentially a crystal base, like a stem. And the stem was ultimately, you know, picked up by lava and carried and then kind of encrusted with the minerals on the outside. But the interior shape may still be holding that way because it's solid crystal inside. So I'm going to find out about that. Um, this one, like I said already, uh, very curious about that. This guy is another one that I've been looking at. Um, again, like I said, I've been reading a lot about um, kimberlites. Kimberlites tend to be a green color, kind of like this. Um, this doesn't seem to have... Oh, well, there's a big inclusion there, a little uh, bit there. This could be a kimberlite. I'm not sure. I need to do, I need to do some more research on this particular rock. Um, but let me show you some of these other ones that, that I've got around here. This one in particular is another one that's got um, some sort of a crystal that's basically encroaching out, out of it. What I think here, this was an igneous rock that formed with these crystals inside of it. And then it was a, erupted in a volcanic eruption. And then over time, I think the minerals on the outside of the rock have worn away. And it was probably, you know, this thick you know, flush with, with the crystal at one point in time, but the minerals have worn away. If, if you look down here, there's this total texture everywhere where the minerals have been washed away, and the only thing that remains is the crystal matrix. And again, I don't know what kind of crystal this is, but it is quite hard. 
probably quartz. Um, but yeah, again, that's this is uh, this is another interesting uh, rock that I'm going to see if I can maybe get some of the crystal out of this. That's got to be probably five, six hundred pounds worth of rock. That was not easy to move. Some of these guys I have not moved uh, since ten years ago when I put them here. This one I couldn't move it again. I put it there with the tractor, but it's also got a lot of uh, crystallization inside of it. Ooh, see, there's a very, very shiny crystalline thing right there. It is triangular shaped too, or it looks that way, which is the shape uh, the diamonds come in, but I really don't think that this is a, I don't know, it's possible that this is a kimberlite, but it really doesn't, it doesn't strike me as uh, the, the, the images that I've been looking at that are kimberlite, so I don't know if it is. Um, it'll be surprising, but lots and lots of crystal formation in here. Um, I think I may try some muriatic acid to see if I can remove some of these other minerals from both of these rocks that are just kind of shedding it away. Uh, now I'm going to show you the really, really interesting ones. These are rocks I've been power washing off over here. Um, so a week, week and a half ago, and this was really kind of what, what started this whole thing off. So I found this rock in a creek. And uh, when I first found it, I was like, wow, amazing pudding stone. This is another rock that was in my wall right over there. This is basically a spitting image of a kimberlite. And this is as well. And I actually polished this up a little bit with my sander a little bit Um Olivine is one of the compounds that uh, makes this green color, same as this, and that's often found in kimberlites. Um, but more importantly, do you see that little triangle right there? That is the shape of, there's actually two of them right there. I think this is actually a kimberlite that's actually holding diamonds because I'm seeing crystals and they are triangular in shape and this is most definitely a kimberlite. So that I'm definitely excited about. But again, like I said, I've been doing all this reading and I found a couple of web pages. As you can see, these two rocks, they look a lot alike, right? When I first got this, again, I thought it was a Michigan pudding stone. But the more I look at it and the more I've learned about kimberlites, the more I'm thinking it may actually be a kimberlite. Um, and I'm not exactly t sure how you tell the difference. Um, I mean... It looks like a pudding stone, other than the fact that it is absolutely chock full of inclusions and things that were picked up when this piece of igneous rock made its way to the surface. And, you know, many, most pudding stones do not have this many rocks stuck into them. So when I look at this rock, I immediately look at it, and the more, the more I've thought about how this rock came to be, it must have been an incredibly sticky bit of lava that picked up all of these other rocks as it made its way out. But more interestingly, there are several crystalline formations. That's a triangular crystalline formation. That's a triangular crystalline formation. Um, I have one uh, right here kind of poking out. That is a crystal. And there's another one right there that's kind of poking out kind of like a pyramid shape. You don't see the whole thing, but obviously that's a crystal. And there is a little bit of green in this guy. So I'm really starting to wonder if this is not a pudding stone and this is actually kimberlite. Um, over to this one, and again, this is the spitting image of every kimberlite that I've been looking at. Most of them are more of a green color. And just a second ago, I was looking at this and I saw, well, that looks like a, a, a triangular diamond shape. That also looks like it could be, but there are little crystalline structures in here. Here's another one. That one's not really so much of a triangular shape, but let me see if I can turn it around. Uh, that looks like it could potentially be. So, yeah, I'm not sure if this is. Maybe I'm just getting, uh, you know, excited because it's, uh, you know, similar in re resemblance. Um, but, yeah, I'm curious what you guys' thoughts are on um, 
the possibility that this is not a pudding stone and it's a kimberlite and that maybe other pudding stones are not actually pudding stones but kimberlites um yeah anyways i hope you've enjoyed my discussion of uh uh rocks today i'm no expert but i do find this quite fascinating this this piece was underneath one of the pieces that i cleaned and i'm not sure what that is but it's really really hard stuff and it was just kind of there uh, i'm not sure if it fell off after i put it there or what but anyways uh yeah have a great day